Well, you guys got another video here for you. In this one, we're going to be looking at how we can upgrade an old computer uh, and cannibalize some parts from another computer to put into this case. OK, now, is that possible? Yes, it is. If it's been a custom built PC, as you can see, this had an AMD processor in it, an old AMD 64, which has got a floppy drive and all that stuff in it. But pretty much if we can rip all the guts out of this, we can probably cannibalize some parts in here and still use some other parts from another PC. Now, we've got an i5 and also a Gamewood 560 tire lying around and some 16 gigs of memory. So we're going to be upgrading this and putting all that stuff in there, okay? So if you've got yourself some second-hand parts off of eBay, or you've got some parts that you want to put in there there's a couple of things you're going to have to look at is also power supply how big the motherboard is and also how big the case is and how much room you've got for a graphics card and can the PSU take that graphics card and all that stuff so as you can see this is the case inside it's pretty messy in here and uh, we're going to be having to blow this out and clean all this crap out so we're going to take it outside so once we've done that, we'll be able to put our stuff in. But you see it's got an Antec uh, 500 watt power supply. It's got a ribbon cable for a floppy drive. That'll be going. And uh, as you can see here, there's not much room in here as well. It's got a an old AMD system in here, but all that is going to be coming out. We can probably still use the fan and uh, the power supply. I'm pretty sure that'll be okay. But you've got to remember the width here. Uh, for size of graphics cards and can the PSU take that uh, type of graphics card so you'll have to weigh all this up when you're going to be upgrading your system airflow is another thing you want to make sure you've got plenty of airflow if you're upgrading to newer parts okay so we're going to be putting a front fan in here and a, an exhaust fan as well and uh, pretty much uh, just rip the guts out okay so let's uh, take this outside and give it a quick blowout with a shop vac as you can see it's full of dust inside and uh, heat can't dissipate uh, through dust so that's what actually kills hardware once you get dust inside a case it starts to build up heat and then you start with overheating problems and stuff like that okay so this is just a general shop vac i've got it on blow and uh, we're going to blow all the dust out i will hold the fans before i start uh, going near that area you can see i'm moving it about pretty fast here so i don't end up spinning the fans too hard uh, but i will hold them and then give it a quick blow right through the cpu and the uh, graphics card here just to make sure the dust is gone now you may be wondering why i'm still cleaning this out seeing that we're going to be removing uh, all this stuff one i don't want to be breathing in all this nasty dust and two i just want to get rid of uh, all the crap from the inside of here before we put our new parts in and this is going to be used in another build for for his friend uh, so let's get this uh, out of the case as you can see here i removed all the cables and all the cards and uh, we're going to be uh, just re I've removed all the screws here and we're just going to remove this uh, from the case itself there's not much room to move in here it's a mid tower case we're just going to lift this up and it was a bit of a tight squeeze but basically this is going to go into another old case and he's going to give it to his friend uh, it's still an amd processor the guy who's going to have this old one is uh, just be surfing the net and stuff like that so it's ideal for that so we'll just remove this out as you can see now once we got this out we can uh, put in our other motherboard that we've got now i've cannibalized this out of another machine as you can see it's an i5 uh, with a noctua uh, d14 uh, fan on it it's a pretty beefy fan and 16 gigs of uh, g skill rip jaw um, ram here and also a pro motherboard it's pretty decent asus it still does the job and uh, hopefully we can get this into the case now there's another thing you want to take care of make sure you got all your io shield from your last uh, case before you throw it out otherwise you won't be able to put this motherboard in so we're just going to put this in and once we get that into our case we can then offer up the motherboard now again to take into account is make sure that you've got plenty of headroom for your heatsink because this is pretty beefy now i've had to remove the power supply here up onto the side here so we can get the board in now it's always good to remove all these cables to be honest and start afresh but i was trying to uh, do this with a hangover on a saturday morning which wasn't good and uh, i was just trying to get it done to be honest but we'll just offer this up and uh, get this into the case as you can see it's a pretty tight squeeze but if i'd have removed all these cables it wouldn't have been as bad but you know cutting corners it's only a, um, a a quick upgrade here so uh, we'll pull this back and get it offered up 
Now, once we've done that, we've got to make sure that all the uh, motherboard risers are in the right place for this type of motherboard, and then we can screw it down. And uh, as you can see here, there's not much room inside here, okay? So once we've got this all lined up, we can screw this down and uh, we should be okay. Now we've got to tidy those cables up, of course, and this isn't a modular power supply, which makes it a bit more difficult. Uh, but remember guys, these are second hand parts and they're just parts that uh, he wanted to put in there. It's only for a temporary one year solution until he gets money and he can upgrade to a new computer. You can see this bar along here. This has got no uh, screws on it. It was just riveting in, which made it more difficult uh, to maneuver inside there but we got around it and that should be okay there is a bit of clearance there as you can see um, once the side panel goes on so the airflow should be all right uh, we're going to put a front fan in and uh, an exhaust fan at the back and uh, that should be pretty much it really so as you can see here uh, there was a big jumble of cables and we need to sort these out and down near that power supply they will just push down there which can starve the um, airflow to the power supply here and uh, what we're going to do this is not a modern case remember it's an old case so you can see that power lead that goes down to the board there I have to make sure that we got that in and that was very tight to get in so I removed the power supply so I could get my hand down there yeah, but we'll tidy this up as best as we can and there's a little hole there we can put some uh, cables down to uh, and push them into there as you can see and that should clear it up a little bit and there you go, we have the finished result there. I've tidied up the cables as best as I can in this build. I'm not going to spend too much time as it's only a temporary measure uh, until we get some money together to buy a new machine. But as you can see here, we just need to straighten up a couple of those uh, SATA cables there. And uh, that should be okay. A um, bit of more fettling really, and that should be alright. You can see there, it looks okay. Got some good airflow now. And uh, the cables up the top have all been tidied up where the power supply is. And uh, it's pretty clear down the bottom to allow good airflow. And up the top, it's been cleared out a little bit and I've tucked as much as I can between the two uh, CD-ROM drives there, which should be okay. So let's remember this. these are second-hand parts, guys, and uh, we've just put this together just to uh, show you that you can uh, upgrade an old machine with some second-hand parts. So that's going to be about it for this video. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then hit the like button and uh, also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos. And uh, if you've got any problems with your computers, you can always head over to the forums and post them on there. If you've got any questions about your computer, post them on the forums, okay? So thanks again for watching, guys.